What's up, Internet families and friends? I hope everyone is great. It's Halloween season, and I had this song in my head for a couple of days now, so I just wanted to remake it. So today I want to show you how I remade this classic, and also how you guys can get the partition and stems of any song to help you in your own production. So let's jump into it. All right, so first of all, there's two places that I know where you can download stems. The first one is this website called remixpacks.ru. You can just go on the website and tap in, uh, I don't know, Ariana Grande, like that. And then it's going to bring you to, if it loads, yeah. It's going to bring you to this page and you can just choose any song you like and download the stems. And that's it. Unfortunately, for This Is Halloween, there was no stems available, so I had to find a workaround. Then I came around this topic on internet and some really smart people developed some crazy AI to actually split a song in uh, multiple stems. So I think I just went with one of those two. Easy stems, yeah. So easystems.com. And then you can just put your YouTube link, choose a number of files you want, choose the uh, um, output quality, and uh, also the cutoff, click starts, and it's gonna download you the uh, the multiple stems. Once I had the stems, I had the vocals in a separate track, so this was great, but I wanted to put my own instruments. And for that, I went on ultimateguitar.com, and you can actually type the song you want. So it's gonna show you a couple of different uh, partitions that you can download and I wanted the Marilyn Manson and also the original because my goal was to blend the two together with some you know orchestral uh, elements and also the guitar bass and all that from Marilyn Manson so what you can do is to actually find the partition you want and find this guitar pro uh, software type right here so once you click on that you can go if you have the, the software, of course, you can go at the bottom of the page and click right here, download Guitar Pro tab. I'm just gonna open up the, the partition so you can see it. All right, so once you open that file, you can see all the partition for the different instruments. It's gonna sound like total crap, but what's important in there is that everything written in this partition is actually MIDI information. So we want to save that and use that in our own project in Ableton, right? So to do that, what you can do is file, export. Oh, MIDI, nice. So you can save that, and I'm gonna show you what the file looks like in Ableton. So once you have the file, you can name it whatever you want, and once you take it and grab it down, oh, look at that. Do you want to change the tempo signature? No. So as you can see right here, I have all the partition to the Marilyn Manson version of the song. And what I did is that I took actually two, uh, two partition, like I said, so one for Marilyn Manson and one is the original. So I had this one right here. Yeah, like I said, this one includes more the orchestra element in the track. And once you have that, you can actually name them the different instruments that they represent. And once everything is named, you can just take a contact uh, library and you'll be good to go. You'll have to make some small changes, of course, but this is a good way to really grasp the foundation of the song. All right, so that was the boring part. Uh, once I've done that, though, I was ready to work. So here what I did, I started with the vocals and actually got those two reference tracks, which are the uh, original and the Marilyn Manson uh, cover. Oh no, this is not the original. This is actually from another girl who covers the song. As good as from Claudia. You can check her out. But yeah, I took some reference track to influence my sound choices and also the progression of the song. Also, I didn't want to cover all the song because I just didn't feel to. But yeah, let me show you how the vocals sound right now. As you can see, it's not perfect. You can clearly hear some artifacts uh, in the file, but you know, it's pretty okay for what we have to do and uh, just for, you know, education purpose. So once I had the vocals, 
I actually started with this little intro. I'm just gonna disable this sidechain for now. So this is a patch I made with actually three layers. Uh, this is the first one, which sounds really dirty. I layered this one also, which is also some keys, and this one. And then I just processed them a bit, and I think I cut the highs. Yeah. Then I introduced this bass. I also use the guitar from Contact because uh, the jazz guitar with some distortion from Guitar Rig. I couldn't use my own guitar because this one is going on C, so you need a seven string or retune it down, but I didn't want to tune down mine, so this is what I did. I also took a preset, I think, from Serum to make this. I think it's a preset from the default, uh, yeah, the default uh, library from Serum. Also cut the highs, but it doesn't really do much. For the strings, I've layered different kind of uh, library. So I have layered a uh, Jagger, this one right here, Spiccato, which sounds like this. I've layered also Metropolis Arc 1, which sounds like this. Pretty similar. But this one has more like space into it and the, the other one feels more close to us. So I thought it, they sounded good together. And I also layered this one in the intro, which is uh, Albion 3 and it's the cello um, presets that sound like that. And like I said, all those partitions are actually based on the Guitar Pro uh, MIDI files that we exported earlier. So sometimes I had to tweak them to fit for my uh, orchestration but most of it is mainly the uh, what we downloaded before. Do I have, oh yeah, the, the drums. I started with uh, an impact also right here. Cool. I have some snare rows. You can do that by automating the velocity on the snares. Cool. Next for the drums, I've used a custom kick that I made. I've used those toms from Addictive Drums. I think they are under the yeah metal uh, false metal preset. I've EQ'd them a bit and put some saturation. I've also took this snare, which is a custom snare for me. Put a reverse snare just before. Put some claps. like a metallic uh, hit and I've uh, compressed them together I've also used some cymbals right there I've used a China cymbal for the uh, chorus which is also from Addictive Drum from the same preset I think yeah Cool. I've used some ride. Nice. So the drums together sounds like this. Nice. Let me just show you in the intro what it sounds like. This is with the bass, the guitar, the little Alien here, the strings, and then the voice comes on. Boys and girls of every age, wouldn't you like to see something strange? The city will see, saw a town of Halloween. 
I also added something that sounds really cool, I think, and it's this uh, plug bass. Really sound like industrial. I've also watched and read a couple of interviews from Marilyn Manson's producer, and they were actually using a lot of saw. So this is what I did for the synth in the verse. Just remove the high so it doesn't sound like cheesy. Nice. Uh, do I have something else? Oh yeah, right here when the gits comes back in the verse. I've layered uh, this um, basson, bassoon, I'm not sure. So this is from a patch and it's a trailer brass, which is a really good library. And I've also layered this, which is a preset, I think. Yeah. So it's like a saw with the opening um, filter. It sounds a bit like Blade Runner. So by layering those two with the guitar and the bass following, it really sounds big. Right here, I added the same violin from the start. I just didn't put the, the cellos because the bass uh, is still uh, supporting the low end of the track. Right here, I added this little bell. Just something from Contact and also layered saw wave. So that's about it. This is from the Saint Alien, the same from the start. Same strings. For the final, I also added some brass, so I added some trumpets, some horns, more horns some trombones, and yeah, that's about it. So this is trumpets from uh, Brass ensemble, ensemble, so from a native instrument. This one, Horns 2, is the same uh, library. This one is from uh, Cinebrass, and this trombone is from Trailer Brass. So I've grouped them together. Uh, process them a bit so with a neutron 3 I went super fast so I think I did the uh, mix assistant preset you can check it out if you have it it's really good um, just compress it a little bit and then I've used two reverb for this song uh, they are the same but this one is in pre so the purpose of this reverb is to actually be independent of this level right here so if I put this to minus infinite, uh, I'm still gonna have minus six dB into this reverb. So this way I can really blend the two signal of like the dry and the wet, and this way not being affected by this meter right here. I also added some choirs at the end. See the same reverb. So if I drop that, and I made all those decisions by ear. So I was listening to the track and I thought, okay, I want the strings to be more present and the brass to be more in the background. So yeah, I went with this technique and just reduced by ear this uh, output meter and rise up the uh, wet signal of the reverb. Last thing I added is this Lala from the original. So I've layered that with the vocals.
because I think it sounded great. And finally, on the master, I've used a Neutron 3, a Sculpture, an EQ, Compressor, Compressor, and an Exciter, and another limiter just to make the sound louder. And that's about it. I'm not going to go too much in depth about how to mix strings and brass and all that kind of stuff because I have other videos on my channel that you can check out if uh, this is something that interests you. But yeah, this is pretty much how I managed to recreate the song. So if you're just starting out in music production, recreating song can really help you develop your skills by copying other musicians. If you're more advanced, well, now at least you know how to get some partitions and some stems for your different projects. So I hope you guys learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.